Hi there. In this video, I'm going to set up the W3 Total Cash plugin with Paid Memberships Pro. Now, Paid Memberships Pro is a membership plugin, so that means you're using it on a membership site. Membership sites have transactional data, e commerce, members only content, lots of rules that make traditional caching potentially hard to set up. But caching is so confusing. There's a lot of different pieces. I could go into it, but what I'm actually just going to do in this video is set up W3 Total Cash with the minimum requirements and settings that we uh, recommend for membership sites. This is enacting the 80-20 rule. I'm going to take you through less than 20% of the settings in W3 Total Cash that get more than 80% of the outsized results for your website. So yeah, so to follow along at home, if you go to paidmemberships.pro.com slash caching, you'll get directed to this page, which has our documentation on caching. I'm going to reference some text from this page in a second. On this side, uh, this tab here, I have the must love dogs demo site. And so this is just a demo I'm going to work through, but we can imagine I have something set up on my website here to, to kind of artificially slow down the website. You might find, you know, when I go to this blog page, it's taking a while to load. I'm using the Query Monitor plugin. That's free. Download Query Monitor from the .org repository, and it'll give you um, some information on how fast the website is loading. So when I refresh this blog page, it's taking many, many multiple seconds to load. This might be something that's happening on your website because the blog page has to load quite a bit of content, all these cute doggos. So what I'm going to do on this site is set up page caching and browser caching with the default settings that we like, and let's do that. So I'm going to go into the dashboard. I'm going to go to plugins, add new plugin, and I'm going to search for W3 Total Cache. This plugin is completely free from the .org repository. I'm going to install it and then activate it. W3 Total Cache by Bulgrid, they do have a business around this that will upsell CDNs, services, professional services. All that stuff uh, is potentially things you can look into that will help you optimize your WordPress website, but you get a ton of value out of the base plugin. It helps to manage all of the confusion, caching optimization that might be going on your website. And now that it's installed, I can click activate. <clears throat> and then let's go. The plugin is activated. You might see this message here about nginx.conf rules. I'm getting this. My local web server is running Nginx. That's one of the two most popular web servers for WordPress, the other one being Apache. You might not. It depends on your host. I'm going to hide that message for now, though. I think it doesn't really matter. If you control your own website, you can refresh the server, reload Nginx. If you are on a host, they should apply your rules automatically, or you can kind of coordinate with your host. But I think we'll see the uh, performance improvements anyway without having to reload the server. So. After activating W3 Total Cache, you'll notice a performance item in your menu in your menu here. Let's click on that. Now I do find the W3 Total Cache settings pretty confusing, and that's because there's tons and tons of things related to caching and different things that you could do. So it's a hard challenge for them to organize all that in a way that makes sense to someone who's just getting into it. That all said, I'll try to navigate through it. So if you go into the dashboard, what you want to do is click here on the general settings. And that might bring up a wizard. If it does, skip it. The only things we want to do is we want to go to the page cache. We want to check enable. And we want to choose disk enhanced. There's some other options here that are useful on different web servers. Maybe talk to your web host if they have a recommendation for what to do. If you're advanced and you know what these things are, you can use them. You'll get a little bit more performance. But like I said, 80% of the boost is just doing page cache at all. And doing this disk-based caching is a good way to do that. So choose disk enable the page cache, choose disk enhanced. I'm also going to scroll down. I'm going to ignore minify for now. I'm going to ignore the opcode cache. I'm going to ignore the database cache. I'm going to ignore the object cache. All those are good things for caching. A lot of those like the object cache and the database cache in particular have challenges on membership sites and e-commerce sites that break little things and edge cases and weird issues. And it may be worth setting up, but it's specific to your website. We're going to ignore those for now. What you do want to do is check uh, the browser cache and make sure that's enabled. That might be enabled by default. Um, browser caching will tell the browser that if it's seen this file before, this image, this JavaScript file, just load the same one from the browser. And there's fairly minimal issues with browser caching. So I got the page cache and the browser cache. I'm going to click Save Settings. 
And then for the page cache, we're not done yet. So page cache is great. What it does is it, instead of loading that page, it takes about five seconds or so on, on this site right now to generate the blog page. It's gonna generate the page and then take a snapshot of it and just serve a file version, like a really quick, ver you know, the, the compiled version of the page, if you will. But that could be problematic with membership content because the member content, if a member views the page, you want them to view all the content. If a new user views the page and it's members only content, you don't want them to see the content. You don't want them to see welcome Jason Coleman up in the upper right of the screen. You want people who are logged out from your website to see the cached version of your website and people who are logged in to see your member content. And then you also want to exclude caching on the checkout pages, the account pages, the login pages. So some of the pages that are transactional, that are forms, it makes sure that there's no issues on those, those pages. It's usually best to exclude them from cache. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the advanced settings for the page cache. And I'm gonna assume most of these defaults are really good. So I'm gonna scroll past them, but feel free to look into them on your own time. What we're looking for is to make sure it's checked here that says don't cache pages for logged in users. So if a member or an admin is logged into your site, we don't want to cache it. We're going to make sure that's checked. So members will, it'll use your web server, load the page dynamically as you would expect. Everyone else, it's going to show the cached version. And then I'm going to scroll down through some of these other settings and ignore those. What I'm looking for is this setting under advanced, I believe which is never cache the following pages. So there's a couple in here already. So this WP dash and like the dot star thing means like the WP admin page. If you're, you know, WP includes like a pages related to WordPress, actually mostly WP admin there, honestly, is not going to get cached. Index.php, that's a, you know, page that's it's, it's used sometimes for different form things. So those are good to, to exclude from cache. It's in the default. I'm gonna go back to this page on the Pay Membership Pro website and find the recommendations here. And there's a gist in here, but you also can like in the video, like slow it down and pause and just see these. They're not too complicated. But basically what you're excluding are the PM Pro generated pages, the login page, which also handles password resets. And these pages might've been moved around on your site. So maybe you do wanna double check them and the checkout and confirmation pages. So then I, I go back into the settings. I'm gonna paste these. Now these are the default slugs URLs where Paid Merchants Pro puts their membership account. If you changed it, change that value. Where the membership checkout is, where the, our pricing page is, maybe you call that pricing. By default, we call it membership levels and slash login. So basically you're putting the slash and the slug and the star is an asterisk that works like you might expect and like anything after this. Put this into, we're never gonna cache any page that includes this content, right? So once you paste that in there, click save settings. And now this is on. You may want to restart your Nginx server. You also can hide that setting. Another thing that might come up here, um, I don't know how to simulate it, but if you're on Apache, it will try to edit an HT access file. And maybe your web server has trouble with that. It'll dump into a window like, hey, you need to copy and paste this really confusing code into this file on your server. You can look up a tutorial. We'll try to link a tutorial for that, maybe another video. But also you can talk to your host about that. So copy and paste that content, send it in a support request to your host and say, hey, I heard from WP Total Cache. I have to edit this file. If you know how to edit files on your server, it's not too confusing. But now I'm going to go back to the blog page. Now I'm logged in as admin. When I load this, it still is taking a little bit of time because I'm an admin. I'm logged in. It's not using the cache. Now when I log out, and I go back to the blog, it's it's loading instantaneously. Like it doesn't, you can't even tell that I'm refreshing the page. You can right click on a screen, go to inspect, and then click on the network tab and then refresh. And this is built into Chrome if you're using Chrome or most browsers have something similar. And you can just see this page is loading in 24 milliseconds, it gets the file. And then like within 442 milliseconds, it shows the whole screen. So amazing, we went from a five seconds to four seconds using page caching and browser caching with W3 Total Cache and Paid Memberships Pro.